less harmful and we can survive and we can tolerate them better. Now, first of all I will say that I am moving, I am walking in this park, enjoying the weather and the dogs, good morning, <laughs> communicating with the people and also talking with you. So be with me. Till the end, enjoy the weather, like the discussion, take some notes. So, what we get from fruits? We get fructose. That is the main component of fruit, the fruits. And sugars, including glucose and fructose, that is in the sucrose molecule, we get it from plants. We get it from sugar cane, from other plants and what are the spikes of sugar or glucose in the blood so whenever we eat something sugary it is immediately absorbed by our body by our gastrointestinal system it is absorbed digested and get into the blood now, the sources of glucose, the direct source is table sugar and the indirect source is starch. So, if we are eating something starchy like grains, like potatoes, sweet potatoes, other root vegetables having starch, it will take some time to be digested and converted into glucose and the absorption will take some time and the spikes in our body, in our blood will not be very high. But at the same time, if we are directly eating anything sweet, like anything from the bakery, or a drink, or fruit juices, they are immediately taken up by the blood and the blood glucose levels go immediately high. Now, okay, if they go high, what's wrong with that? Now there comes the point. The cells of our body, every cell of our body is using glucose as a form of energy. The mitochondria of those cells, all the cells, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, the mitochondria of all cells with mechanism called Reb cycle, it is a chemical chain reaction in the mitochondria, they convert glucose into pyruvic acid and from there they start Reb cycle and produce energy molecules called ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Now, This ATP is used for different functions of the cell, including to make proteins, to make RNAs, to stimulate and communicate with the DNA, to store the unnecessary energy in shape of, to convert and store it in the shape of fat, to get rid of the waste products like carbon dioxide and water, which is extra, 
out of the cell to move it out of the cell and so on and so forth so that's fair enough we are using that energy at a certain pace at a regular pace and when we perform the functions with those cells for example my muscles made with the myocytes the muscle cells when I start moving I need more energy for movement similarly my brain cells neurons having different functions function of thinking function of communication function of autonomic nervous system function of sense and controlling the motor activity now they need tons of energy when they are doing these jobs and even if I am sleeping still my cardiorespiratory functions are controlled by my brain my oxygen levels and carbon dioxide levels are controlled by brain so that is some organs when even they are inactive still they are using energy but when they become active they need more energy when they are using more energy then they will intake more glucose and these spikes do not matter but when they are not using that form of energy and when they are let's say the muscles are immobilized I'm not moving at all I'm sitting lying in the bed sleeping now my muscles and my skeletal system and all my body is just using what I basically need to survive that is called basal metabolic rate the metabolism or the production of energy which is needed for survival but when I'm using that energy with the organs by moving by doing cognitive functions with the brain by doing intellectual things by exercising by walking I am using extra energy which my system will promote which my system will make which my body will make and then the spikes of glucose are not a problem but when I am not moving and I am taking glucose and fructose in a concentrated form and what we have done with most of our foods is that we have genetically modified them they are not natural as they were 100 years ago or 200 years ago the concepts of fruit was something growing in a jungle something growing in a forest berries wild berries berries were wild always wild then we started planting them then we planted them but what we did we are genetically modifying them to become more sweeter more bigger so actually we are concentrating sugars in them and that is why when we eat fruits they provide us more sugar okay still they have fibers so if we are eating a whole fruit still it is better than we are using the juices if we are using the juices of fruits they make us a big spikes they give us a big spikes of sugar a certain spikes it is same like we are having a soda pop or any other sugary drink so that is the problem that spike of sugar into the blood cannot be absorbed or utilized from different portions of our body immediately now what they will do they will be rising the insulin levels in our body what insulin will do it will try to push those sugars into the blood from the blood into the cells and it will start promoting the storage mode that is conversion of sugars into the fats and that is not good that's what we don't need the more insulin it will block the actions of leptin the hormone which tells us that we are satisfied we have eaten a lot we are good so what will happen we'll have urges to eat again and again and again and again and when this insulin comes it will take away 
those spiky sugars glucose from our blood into the cells it will make or produce an, a kind of hypoglycemia artificially and we will feel craving for some more carbohydrates we eat carbohydrates we put make spikes and those are absorbed from blood into the cells by the action of insulin we have a feeling like cravings and we eat carbohydrates again we need to eat it again we like to eat it again we call it addiction whatever but as a matter of fact we are eating too much carbs unnecessary carbs unneeded carbs so how to avoid it there are many ways one is to mix fats or fruits with the proteins for example if you make a salad a chicken salad and put some fruits in it some berries or some apple in it some greens and vegetables in it and chicken and other meats in it and topple it with olive oil or other dressing fatty dressing then the time of digestion and absorption for the glucose will be elongated it will be enhanced and we will get no spikes at all or we will get least spikes which are not dangerous similarly if we mix uh, making a dessert like we have whipped cream and we mix it with the berries then those berries which have fructose they will not be easily absorbed they will take time and it is a good desert but the absorption and digestion is delayed and we will not have spikes so the nutshell of the discussion do not drink juices do not drink sodas do not drink anything which is having sugar fructose high fructose corn syrup or uh, any form of these two molecules this will immediately give you a spike eat whole fruits eat whole grains eat whole foods and mix them with proteins and fats this will delay the digestion and absorption of glucose and you will not have big spikes of those glucose and you will not stress uh, your body with insulin and insulin resistant resistance and and the complications of that thank you very much for watching and liking the video please share it with your friends thank you